hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is another haul video for you and this is from Swan Creek Candle Company this is a new to me company I think they've been around for quite a while um, I've seen some people haul their uh, clamshells and um, I don't know that I would say that they're like super popular but I think the people that I've seen do reviews on them are generally pretty happy with their performance so I thought I would get check them out. I don't know what made me decide to do. I think I watched somebody's review or something on Swan Creek and it just kind of made me wanna get some wax melts. And then they have a lot of fall and Christmas scents that they released recently um, for this season. So I picked up mostly fall and Christmas type scents, but then I picked up a few other things that sounded good as well. So um, yeah, their wax is basically 100% soy and um let's see their clamshells are big let me show you so i'll go ahead and kind of just get into it but this is they're a six piece clamshell like this but they're 4.75 ounces and to just compare to our kind of your standard clamshell this is kind of your standard size that is usually about two and a half ounces so um yeah so i would say each square is at least twice as big right and so I've seen people comment that they will often cut these squares in half when they melt them so we'll see I'll have to play around with that and see how I want to do that but anyhow let me I'm sorry there's like a glare because I have my overhead light on and so I'll try and try and angle my stuff so that doesn't um, keep reflecting like that but let me go ahead and jump in so I don't have a lot of scent descriptions I only have like three that I have a scent description for I went to their website and although they have a scent list a lot of the scents I ordered are new scents and they just don't have their scent descriptions up there I even tried going to their Facebook page and I couldn't see any scent descriptions there either so I'm just gonna tell you what I smell on a lot of them this first one is frosted spruce and with these clamshells, the tops come off completely like that. And then they usually have some stuff thrown in there as decoration. So I don't know, I guess that must be some kind of pine needle. I don't know. But this smells really nice. This is probably one of the most authentic Christmas tree scents that I have ever smelled. Let me keep that here, but I don't know. Yeah, there we go. This smells really nice, very Christmassy. And then that frosted note, so it's not like peppermint, but you do get this note that makes it feel like it's cold, outdoorsy type scent. This is beautiful. I'm really excited to melt this. Um, it smells really good. And then this next one is silver spruce and cedar tips. So yeah, this one I did not have a set description for either. So you, this one you get that, um, so I'm trying to like angle it so, there we go. So you're not getting a glare. You definitely get that spruce, that spruce note and that's the strongest, but the cedar, you get that cedar note so it definitely gives you like a woodsy, that woodsy, um, almost like you're in a, a cabin in the woods type scent. Oh, that's beautiful. That is gorgeous. I am really excited. And they smell strong right now in the clamshell, so I'm really hoping that they throw well. So far, I've seen pretty good reviews about them. This one is Snowflakes at Midnight. This is really pretty. Oh, and just as an FYI, because it is 100% soy, soy frost like that on the top, so that is absolutely normal for 100% soy wax. It makes it look like it's old, but that does not mean it's old. That's just what soy wax does. So if you're kind of new or not familiar with 100% soy, just as an FYI. So Snowflakes at Midnight. I wish I could get the scent description from their website. They don't, they have it listed, but no scent description. This is a beautiful scent. Um, I cannot describe it. It smells, there's kind of like a, I don't want to say perfumey because I don't want people to be turned off by it. But there is something in this that's beautiful. It almost reminds me like it has a blue sugar type note in it. But it's just, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just a beautiful scent. It's not outdoorsy. It's not like minty. It's sweet and beautiful. 
I don't know. I wish I could get a scent description for this. Um, I'm really excited to melt that one as well. Just, it smells amazing. I just don't know how to describe it. So of course I had to try their fresh strawberry because you guys know I'm just a strawberry fanatic. So I needed to see, you know, what I thought of their strawberry. Unfortunately, um, I'm not a fan of it right now. Okay, so I get a good strawberry note in there, but I also get something that's kind of funky, like a weird plastic, plastic chemical-y scent. And I don't know if that's from the fragrance oil, the wax in the fragrance oil, or if that's from the clamshell. Because there's half of it that I like and half of it that I don't. Like it almost smells like a, a strawberry cream mixed with plastic, which sounds horrible. I will try to melt it and see what I think. Um, and hopefully that weird note goes away when I melt it, but we will, we will have to see. Next is frosted cranberry and sugared vanilla. And this one's really pretty the way they have it decorated, just with the glitter. Sorry, I feel like I'm all over the place here. This one is gorgeous. So this is, you get like equal that, it's like a sweet but tart cranberry and then the sugared vanilla. And it kind of makes it creamy, that sugared vanilla scent. I really, really like this. Yeah, I'm excited to melt this one. I think this is great. And I think this would be, it's not a spicy cranberry at all. So it's not spicy. There's no bakery in it. I think this is a great fall transitional scent and something I could actually probably even melt now because there's nothing heavy about the scent. It's very nice. I got their peppermint twist because I love me some peppermint. Mm. Okay, so this smells like a peppermint bark but like 60% on the like 60 to 70% peppermint and the chocolate note in this is not a heavy chocolate it's actually a really good chocolate and it has a creamy note it's very decadent very creamy with some peppermint and some chocolate this is really good really really good on cold I'm excited for this Next is s'mores. I wasn't sure about this one because I know s'mores um, tends to have, you know, it has chocolate in it and I tend to be a little iffy on chocolate. So yeah, I'm not sure if I like this one. It, it's a little on the lighter side. And for whatever reason, I feel like I'm getting like a chocolate and coconut scent. I mean, so s'mores are supposed to be graham cracker, marshmallow, and chocolate, right? But I feel like I'm getting coconut and chocolate so it smells okay I'll melt it again and try and see what you know see what I think of it but on cold it's just eh. this is cranberry apple crisp and this has like actual like cinnamon bark in it that's pretty cool so this is really good this is definitely fall um, so you get that juicy apple, you get the cinnamon, of course, and you get some of that tartness from the cranberry, but it's definitely more of like, kind of almost like a cinnamon apple with maybe a hint of a bakery note in there. So, but a definite like kind of traditional fall type scent, I would say. Oh, and so this was pretty cool. They actually sent um, a free one. And I don't know if they always do that with orders or if you order a large amount or for a new customer, I have no idea like what they base this on. Um, but I was excited to see this. This is roasted pumpkin seeds and I think this is a new scent for them too this fall. And it looks like that's like cinnamon actually sprinkled in there. And this smells really good. It's definitely like a bakery cinnamon, like so basically pumpkin spice and bakery. It's heavy on the cinnamon. It's a little bit of that artificial cinnamon. Um, like I feel like the cinnamon in this cranberry apple is like a true cinnamon bark, whereas this is somewhat of an artificial cinnamon. So it's not my favorite cinnamon um, scent for fragrance, but I will again melt it. And if I don't like it, I know it's one I can pass on to family or something or a friend. 
Uh, this next one, Holiday Plum and Sweet Cream. Yeah, this one didn't have a scent description. Oh, you know what? So look at this Cranberry Apple Crisp. It did have a scent description. It's rich cranberry, fresh apple cider, mild cinnamon. Yeah, so that's why you get that apple cider note for sure in that. Um, but yeah, this one, Holiday Plum and Sweet Cream. I just thought this sounded really good. And you get like kind of like a fall plum type scent. I don't know how to, because it's not just like a sweet, juicy plum. There's like a heaviness to it, but it's not spicy. And you get a sweet creaminess, but I do feel like there's a little bit of a perfumey note in here, probably from the plum. But it smells good. Um, so I will, yeah, I, it's definitely one I will melt. So far there's none, I'm like, Oh my God, I can't stand. I mean, I think my least favorite is probably the fresh strawberry, unfortunately. Uh, mistletoe Kiss. And yep, no scent description. I love the little green and white sparkles in there. Oops, if I can. So this reminds me a lot of mistletoe that you can get from like wax vendors and almost very much like, I think Janine from Glitterati, she has a mistletoe scent. It reminds me a lot of that. There might be, I think there's some mint though in this as well, but it's not like overly minty or pepperminty, but again, a great Christmas scent. I'm really excited for that. I have about four more, so sorry. A little bit, a few more minutes here, oops. Um, this is Mountain Berry Parfait. And I think this is a new for 2018 scent as well. Oh wait, so this one I do have the scent description. So it's wild blueberries, red raspberries, peach, strawberry, coconut, condensed milk, orange zest, sweet cream. I pretty much get just like the blueberry and raspberry and sweet cream. Um, I don't get orange zest at all. Um, I'm not really picking up like coconut at all. That condensed milk, I mean, maybe it adds like a creamy sweetness. But this reminds me of a scent from Better Homes and Gardens. It's the that berry cheesecake one. I don't. Ha I tried to look in my um, collection to see if I still had that Better Homes and Gardens clamshell, and I couldn't find it, so I don't think I have anymore. But I'm pretty sure that's exactly what this is. So if you like that berry cheesecake from Better Homes and Gardens, that's what this one smells like. There's no. Um, it's creamy and it's like sweet berries. It's a little on the artificial side, but it's good. It smells really good, um, but it's very like heavy, creamy type scent. I uh, really do like it. And this is also one that'd be good mixed with maybe just kind of a mild bakery type scent, like a sugar cookie or something. This is Mary Mary Milkshake. And this they did not have a scent description for, and I wish they did because I'm having a hard time placing the notes in here. So I get fruity. There's definitely a note in here that sound, that smells familiar to me, but I cannot place it. Like it's fruity and creamy and sweet, but is it like, oh, it's banana. Okay, so there's banana in here. It's not only banana, but there's definitely banana. And then I don't know what else, like other fruit notes. So it smells good. Not exactly what I expected because it is called Mary Mary Milkshake. But again, because they don't have the scent description, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be smelling. I do pick up a banana scent. I do pick up some creaminess and some other maybe like berries. But, you know, that's what I can tell. And then, oh, no, I still have two more. <laughs> um, home for the Holidays. Sorry, these I should have had these open or something. Maybe that would have made it easier. This is like heavy fall spice. And kind of like a cidery cinnamon type scent. So it's okay. Not like my favorite. It's definitely like, um, it's definitely just a heavy fall spice. And then the last one is French Vanilla Bean. I do like vanilla. They, on their website, say it's their original vanilla fragrance, just like ice cream. So this is one I do not think it smells like vanilla uh, to me. I feel like I get a coffee note from this. Almost like a vanilla latte, 
because it's creamy. There is a hint of vanilla, but I feel like there's like a coffee undertone. So it's okay, but it's not what I expected. I, I will try all of these, I will try melting. And if there's any that I can't stand, I will look at passing them on. But I definitely look forward to melting these. I have no idea if these need to cure at all. Um, you know, I'll probably start trying to melt some of them, especially the like more summery, like fruity scents. Uh, the ones that are more fall and Christmas, I'll hang on to for a little bit, but definitely try melting them as I get we get more into those seasons and the weather starts cooling off a bit. But anyhow, if you've tried Swan Creek and you have um, comments or want to share anything, definitely post those below. Or if you have a favorite scent, you know, I can't give you much about the company and how they operate since this is the first time I'm buying from them. It does seem that they cycle through their scents so that they don't always have the same stuff. They are very seasonal, it seems like, in what they sell. Um, so, like, if you wanted summer scents, I don't know that you can get many of those right now. I think you definitely see a lot of the fall and Christmas. And then, and it marks, like, next to the scent on their website. It says seasonal. So, you know, you can only get it for a limited time, I think. But so far, these smell really good. Nothing that I'm like, oh, I have to stock up on. But I will melt them. And since, and since you get a good amount, like I don't feel like I need to rush out and get more because I feel like these clamshells, each one will last me for a while. So anyhow, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to post those below. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye.